Welcome back to Solar Motion with Effect. Today we'll be looking at the Observe Character Controller, the Ultimate Character Controller, and of course Blaze AI, how we can set that up. So in this scene, I'm just playing the demo scene here. In the demo scene, uh, I have a zombie, a simple melee I've set up. Please check out the link up in the right corner for setting that one up. You just have one attack uh, animation. So right now, if we play the scene, you will notice, of course, that he will detect me and attack at me, but nothing happens. Okay, so the attack is working. A quick tip on your zombie here. Then of course uh, you have layers to detect player, hostile player and player. But for your actual player component up here, which is the observe character controller, a lot of his colliders are actually inside. All of his colliders are child of the main character here, of the main player uh, game component. So what I did for my blazer to be able to detect my player, I went up and highlighted the player here, and then I just added a capsule collider and made it a trigger. Okay, that way he won't be interacting with anything because it's a trigger, but my blaze AI will be able to detect him. Okay, now let's go back to the zombie. For the zombie itself, I went into his hands and made uh, two box colliders. So one for the right, I call this right hitbox, and one for the left, I call that left hitbox. Okay, and uh, if you go into the blaze AI to look at the animation, so let's look at the attack. You can see here on the attack is this one, free hit combo attack zombie. Now if we go to my animation here, that's this one. So we play it. That's a hit, that's a hit, and that's a hit. Okay? So what I did was I just went into the events, and I just, every time I want him to activate the hitbox, I called it zombie hit. And when I want to disable it, I just call it no attack, like so. I did that for, I did that for all of the free hits, zombie hit. Now on the actual hitboxes, I also added a script called damage to observe player. If you look at the observe website, I'll leave a link for it in the description. It says here how you can damage a player character here. So basically you can take this, copy this and put it into a script. You need to tweak a little bit to your own liking, of course. See, this is how it looks like before. And this is after I tweaked it, okay? I will leave the script uh, for download as well if you want that in the description. So uh, I'm just making a reference for my player. I'm saying uh, that I want to damage him with uh, 10. In the start method, I'm just fetching my player by finding by using find game object with tag called player. So I'm ensure that your player has this tag, otherwise it won't work. So inside my trigger enter, I'm going in and getting my component health component from the player. And in there, I'm looking for the damage method and it takes a float or int. I made an int up here called damage, which is this one, and I made it public, so we can always uh, write it out in the inspector, okay? So that's the one you see here, damage to observe player. I have 10, I have both on the right and the left. So one gives 10, and one the other one gives 10, but you can of course tweak it to what you want. Now with those enabled, let's see how it will work out. When I play the demo scene, yeah, I'm taking damage. He hits me, and also if we look at the console here, enemy hit player, disable box. Okay, so this is for the damaging the player. Now I also made a script for actually enabling and disabling the actual hit boxes. I will leave that script as well uh, in the description so you can download that. And uh, that's called enemy hit observe me leap, but you, could, you should have called it a, you should name it something more specific like uh, enabling disabling hit boxes or something like that. And basically, it looks like this. I make a public reference to my both my left hitbox and my right hitbox. I make a reference to my blaze health. And then I said in the void start that I want to make sure that these two uh, hitboxes are false, means they're not enabled. And then uh, I also grab my blaze health component here. In the update, I say if my blaze component dies, meaning his health is below zero, then I want to destroy the hitboxes. That way, my player, if he keeps running above the dead bodies, they, they won't uh, damage him. Now, I then have these two methods here. Zombie hit and the no attack. This is the one we made in the animation events. So, zombie hit is going to enable both hitboxes. And no attack is going to disable the boxes. Okay? So, let's take a look at that and also look at the console. We can look at the hitbox up here. That gets enabled and disabled again, and we see the, both the consoles here is writing it out. 
So the melee attack works. Now as for shooting from your player to your Blaze AI, we have this impact callback method here, um, which is also provided from the website. Uh, it's supposed to be copy paste in and then you need to tweak it. So I did that, but I did a lot of tweaking on this one as well. If we check that and just paste it in, then of course you need to make some tweaks here. So if we, uh, I'm gonna leave this as a script also for you to download and you just need to add this component on your Blaze AI. That way you'll be able to take damage from shooting from an uh, uh, observed character controller. Okay, that's pretty important. But uh, what I'm gonna do here is when I leave this script for you, I'm gonna remove this custom hit effects here and the splatter here as well. We don't need the debug and also this long debug here can go away. So basically on this script here, if we hit a game object with a component, with a blaze eye component, and it's not null, meaning it's hitting something, then I want to execute these two methods. The one is the blaze AI hit, so the hit animations, and the other one is that he takes damage, minus 10 here. Let's save this one out. Okay, so as I said, you need to add that component to your main character, to main blaze AI. So in this case, if I unlock here, it's called the observe hit blaze AI, this one here, right? So just add that to the to the blaze eye and he should be able to take damage and not just by the shooting but also by a saw and a, by punches so if I go go to him punch him let's see if it works it works okay so that's a nice thing so now the shooting works as well so guys that was a quick one I hope you learned something I will leech each of the components uh, scripts down in the description for downloading. If you need anything else, please leave it in the comment. I will try to see if I can accommodate it. Otherwise, I hope you learned something. Please help me by sharing this video. Like, subscribe. See you on the next one. Bye.